All right, so in the last video, we learned how to create sections to add to our course. And now let's look at the lesson functionality, how we add lessons to our course. So if I go over here, I want to go to lessons. And you can see on this install, we don't have any lessons yet. So I'm going to add a new lesson. And I'm going to title this one based off of my document here. I've got a uh, text document that shows me my course just kind of in overview. So my first section is called introduction. My first lesson is called welcome to the WordPress website in a weekend method. And the main lesson content I have right now is a video that I've hosted on Wistia. So I'm going to add my lesson title. And the content for that lesson, I'm going to add my Wistia embed code here. And you can put that here in the featured media box, or you can put it right up here in the, uh, you know, the WordPress WYSIWYG area. So for these intents and purposes, I'm going to use the featured media embed box. And over here on the side, we've made it easy that as you're adding content, you can go ahead and associate it with a section. So lessons are at the bottom. Those are associated with sections. And then sections are associated with courses. And if you want to string together courses in terms of prerequisites, you can do that. You can also group courses together inside of a membership. So that's kind of the hierarchy from the bottom up. But in this case, we're just going to assign this video lesson to our introduction section. I'm just going to start typing. There it is, introduction. And I'm going to hit publish. And now if I go back over to my course, this course page, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see the bottom, you'll see the syllabus. And you'll see that we have a section called introduction with a, uh, a lesson there uh, right here. So our course tree or our course syllabus or our curriculum is starting to come together. Uh, There's a beautiful interface that you can, you know, drag and drop, move things around. If I wanted to move this lesson to a different section, I could do it just like this. But let's see what that looks like on the front end. So if I hit refresh right here and scroll down, you can see our course coming together. Uh, this is how much it, this is what it's all about. This is how much it's cost. This button right here will take you into the payment system. But this is the first section and the first lesson, which if we click into that right now is just a video lesson. And you can see Hello and welcome back. what that looks like. So that's how we add our first lesson. And I'm going I'm to go ahead and add the rest of the lessons and then show you what that looks like. All right, so we've added more lessons to our course. And you can see here by clicking on courses and then lessons, we can see all our lessons. We can, we can see the uh, course they've been assigned to and also the section. So this course has 10 to 15 or so lessons uh, spread across five or so courses. So I'm just going to go into this last lesson and go over it in a little more detail. Uh, in this case, we are using a video at the top. So if we wanted some text below that video or so on, we could add some text into the main uh, content area there. But the video is coming in for us through the featured media here. Here is the audio embed area where we could add, uh, you know, like SoundCloud info um, in terms of a audio embed. Uh, we could embed audio directly into the content here by clicking this add media button and uploading uh, audio files. And if we go down here, you can see where we can give this lesson a prerequisite. So Let's say we, you couldn't access this course 
until you finish uh, this lesson. So now we have a prerequisite in place, but I don't want prerequisites for this course, just showing you how that works. Uh, you can also do drip content. So that means that uh, after the, the course start date or the purchase date, uh, this lesson would not be available for 14 days. So if you've heard of drip content, that is how you would set up uh, a drip of your lessons over time. Let's say you're selling a course with 15 lessons and you want the, uh, the new lessons to come out every two days. Uh, this, you know, this lesson here would be, let's say, seven days after the purchase date and so on. Uh, we're going to get into quizzes in a, another uh, video lesson here, but that is the introduction to on how to create lessons in your WordPress LMS. And if we jump on over to the front end, you can see our course here, and now we have all these nice sections and individual lessons and so on. So that's how you create lessons in Lifter LMS.